We're at CES 2011. I'm with Eric Kingdon from Sony. Eric, uh, we're looking at the uh, nine again here. Yep. Uh, top of the range set. Yep. Now, what we're looking at here is the difference between the intelligent LED on and off. That's correct, yes. Um, and th that's an important point because I think we were chatting earlier on about picture processing and the need to be able to make it as adjustable as we possibly can to suit each user. So you can turn this off if, if you wish to do so, but if you um, take a look at the moonshot that we saw just now, um, the purpose of the intelligent peak LED system is to control the LED much more precisely by understanding the behaviour of the image that's surrounding the areas that you're illuminating or where the whiteness is, uh, to, put it, to put it crudely. Um, and in that particular shot, what it does, the end benefit is that it creates a much deeper black. Um, and it's one thing that we've been constantly striving to do, which is to give you very realistic contrast and very deep black levels. So the, um, essentially the LED system responds to the picture characteristic according to the lighting and what's happening around the illuminated parts of the image. And then by boosting the LED or lowering it down and down and down, we can create a, an image that's much richer in terms of contrast. Now, I'm obviously going to ask you a technical question here. You're a technical guy. You're going to ask if, if, if we're talking about the grayscale um, on, on, on the TV, yeah. going, going from black to white, uh, what kind of gradation are we going to get if you're switching the LEDs on and off in certain, certain manners? I mean, can it, can it come on at, at half brightness? It's very flexible. What I'm going to have to do, if you want to know the fine detail, I'm going to have to come back to you on that one to give you that, which I'm very happy to do at some point. Um, but I, I think that more than the actual specification of it, um, I think you've really got to check it for yourself. Um, the reaction here has been remarkable. It's um, like chalk and cheese, the difference when it's turned on. Um, and I think that uh, what it does do is it proves that the quality of a, a well-designed, well-engineered LED um, illuminated, uh, an LED illuminated LCD panel can really, really deliver. Um, we're, we're pretty proud of the 9. I hope you'll feel the same way or understand why we do when you get it for review. No, we understand why, why you do it. I mean, the blacks on there they do look really good. The only issue is that now and again you get the odd, you got two really bright, really dark, you're going to yeah. get a little bit of halo in there. Um, but the technology's moved on an awful lot from what we saw last year. Yes, it has. Um, I mean, part of that is the uh, ability of the engine system that's associated with the, the whole TV processing block to perform superior smoothing, to iron out halos. I mean, I still have kept um, a very early flat panel TV that we made where, you know, if you, if you look at a, a, a light in a room, I mean, it really has got halos. It's angelic, it's got so many halos around it. These kinds of things are gradually, gradually disappearing and we're aiming constantly for the smoothest, most natural progression from one, if you like, point of illumination to another without any visible steps. Uh, part of that has been the, um, ex you know, part of the reason we've been able to achieve it on these models is is the X Reality Pro system. Now, the, I mean, I think the end goal here, correct me if I'm wrong, is that one day we're going to have LED based TVs that each pixel separately can be switched on and off, not just clumps or groups, but each one individually. Do you see that day coming? I see the possibility, um, and, you know, in a way, um, we're kind of not that far off. Um, one of the biggest things that's allowed us to improve that degree of control is um, local dimming and uh, utilising or um, well, putting a lot of money into R&D to develop LED technology. So I think even if you go back quite a short period of time, as you've said quite rightly, just two or three years ago, picture quality improvements have been quite dramatic. I mean, it's needed to be, but you know, the Blu-ray format, with the emergence of the Blu-ray format and the kind of quality now that you can, you know, obtain for very little cost and very little outlay, meant that the television has had to improve in leaps and bounds. Eric, great to speak to you again. Thanks very much for your time. Phil, it's always a pleasure. Thank you, and a happy new year. Beep, beep, beep.